Renamaris Network's Cartoonville era is featured with the Renaforest Cartoon City bumpers in the 3D modern world. And it was one of the failed Renamaris Network eras in Renamaris Network history. It debuted on April in April 2020 and ended in early 2021 on April Fool's Day. The era the era is supposed to be for a playful style with with Renamar's Network. And this is for Renamar's Network's new preschool block that ha that has something to do with this. Because because Renamar Network announced that they will be launching a preschool block with, with great domestic foreign imported series targeted at preschoolers aged children. Their preschool block will play all day long from airing from 6 to 10 p.m. And it was created to compete with Nickelodeon and Disney and Ties Rear Networks, Playhouse Disney, Now Disney Jr., Nick Jr. on Nick, and Ties Rear Jr., who all got massive airtime dedicated to air preschool-oriented shows. The executives at Random Mars Network thought it might be a good idea to alienate their core audience with the block. And the last time they did that, it was really horrible after the block's cancellation. And the entire block had been panned by viewers. And I had to say, Random Mars Network's failed attempt airing the preschool space was a major failure, ironically. The shows featured were Team Omizumi, Paw Patrol, Gerald McBoin Boin, Firehouse Tales, Gorton and Garden No. Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs, Low Robots, Peppa Pig, Pink Fawn, Baby Shark, with their two somewhat memorable shows, Pink Fawn Wonder Star and Baby Shark's Big Show. You already may know because because Baby Shark's Big Show is now a Nick Jr. show and a Mouse Most Six One C T V just for kids show. And for Pink Fawn Wonder Star, it's also a Mouse Most Six One C T V just for kids show. Before Random Mars Network's new preschool block debut, it was riddled with controversy because this was when the Fan Made Network did what the old president at Tyler Network said that they wouldn't do is to air, is to have a network that airs Baby Shark music video content. So after Random Mars Network's old style was, was retired, a new era took its place. Now, this rag over at Random Mars Network was extremely controversial because this was when it happened. And eventually, Random Mars Network soon picked up series like Pink Phone Wonder Star and Baby Shark's Big Show. Those those two those two were on the line of being of being having a preschool series and Random Mars Network will have been created for an unnecessary network for redundancy on a high level of Nicktoons launching live action shows. Random Mars Network will slowly becoming Nick Jr. 2. Nobody, nobody don't, but no one didn't know this because this thing, we are always ready to play in Cartoon City. I don't think so. So, and so teenagers and adults have to watch Random Mars at night after at the Random Mars Network signs off. Now, this rig for the Cartoonville era of Random Mars Network was really, was really, um, a bit spotty. Meaning that it's not cool. It's just mediocre. Now, their first era for Cartoonville was, was a Minecraft-styled Cartoon City era. Here's a preview of it. Yeah, the old Random Mars Network logo was still retained, but unfortunately it didn't live past this calendar year. It wouldn't live past this calendar year is because, because it was recently been retired because of this new president that ran from 
2020 to 2021 at Tajmer Media. Now, this was really horrible. In 2000, in 2020 of April, on April 29th, 2020, this new present at Random Mars and Tajmer Network launched Baby Shark's Under Sea Adventures, which is still airing on Nick Jr. This was a true indicator that Undersea Cartoons had came to Random Mars Network. It debuted on April 29, 2020, replacing Kids WB Wednesdays, which is a Kids WB block. It was a revival of the block after Kids WB on the CW was discontinued due to fierce competition and lack of advertising after Kids WB was sold to 4Kids Entertainment. This left everybody else very upset in Tajmerville, and they still hold a grudge against this Undersea Adventures block. And also in 2020, they rebranded Baby Shark's Undersea Adventures to Random Arts Network's Undersea Adventures. All Tajra Network affiliates had to block at first, but instead they shifted their focus towards other blocks that they want to create. And so Random Arts Network's Undersea Adventures wasn't neither of those things. On, on July 28th, 2020, Tyra Network in UK, United Kingdom dropped the block. Random Arts Network is experiencing massive layoffs and massive hate and under pressure for launching some, some pink film content on their Random Arts Network. Also around the time, Tajmer Cable, which is a which is a which is a Tajmer version of a Comcast or something like that, began to drop Random Arts Network from its lineup to make way for Random Arts Network's own competitor, Tajmer Network 2, which would never be covered in a future video. Random Arts Network continued to fall farther and farther from grace, and, and soon, Tajmer Network and Tajmer Media decided they finally had just about enough. And so Random Arts Network paid the price, and Smart Study and Nickelodeon sued Random Arts Network for six billion dollars for for ruining in their franchises, and this led Random Arts Network to pay the price. Either Random Arts Network gets bankrupt or sell all their assets of Baby Shark and Ping Pong towards to another network. Later in 2021. Nick and Smart Study forced Random Arts Network to sell Baby Shark and Pink Phone and all of their properties to, to Tajmer Jr., a new preschool block on Tajmer Network of all places. However, this really didn't affect Baby Shark to be on Tajmer Jr. at all because Tajmer Jr. has nothing to do with Baby Shark at all because just... Just until then, in March of 2021, Random Mars Network's Undersea Adventures had continued and discontinued from airing. And finally, on April Fool's Day 2021, Baby Shark was removed from Random Mars Network, and so, and so, Random Mars Network has a new programming block called Grand Theft Auto Control, which is a new block for mature audiences. This new president at Tajmer Media, which is me, I repro which programmed Random Mars Never to be aimed at a mature audience. Besides that, the type of content that was on Random Mars Network, not to mention Random Mars at Night, was enjoyed by a little bit of an older of an audience. And it just wasn't the place for our undersea block. And it showed. The Cartonville, rate, the Cartonville era suffered from low ratings and ended up getting cancelled the next week. The Cartonville styling from Random Mars Art was replaced by a new era known as the Old School Era for Random Mars Network, which is the revival. This new era is is for is for our original co- core audiences with Random Mars Network that has much the same content as Random Mars Network's Cartoonville era, minus the Baby Shark branding, minus the Cartoonville branding, and minus the way to play in Cartoonville style branding. Even in 
the recent days, Random Arse Network has to air something that's good. And finally, Random Arse Network shifted their focus towards TVMA audiences along with TVY7 audiences. And so, on Tajmer Jr., over at the Tajmer Jr. channel, um, after Baby Shark was sold to Tajmer Jr., Baby Shark was also been sold by Tiger Jr. to the Mouse Mouse 61 CTV Just for Kids, a rival blog, which syndicated it the move to the music videos and licensed many of many of the Viacom CBS series. But soon eventually, Random Artist Network began to bring its audience back up. I should say Grand Theft Photo, which is the animated series. And family content has something to do with this. Well, however, in the end, in conclusion, the Cartierville era, Ray to Play and Cartoon City era, was the biggest flop Random Artist Network ever pulled to try and compete with Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. and Tajmer Jr., who are now dominating, who are now dominating the, the modern Nick Jr. shows and Nick Jr. dominating the Baby Sharks Big Show series. And for Disney Junior, they're dominating their own programming, which I don't know if they're going to be bland or creatively destructive. And Tyra Junior, who is now dominating Noggin, to to be aired as a programming block at night. This led to everybody else in Tajerville, myself included. What was Baby Shark doing on the Random RS Network and the Tajmir Network in the first goddamn place? So that. It's a bigger question, why? So, Random Mars Network isn't trying that again. Especially, the Cartoonville era was sold to Tajman Jr. and now they became a charge of programming of the era for it. Since Random Mars is not a good place for watching random edit shows that came alive with the era of the slogan, Random Mars Network has to be, has to change its name, has to change its slogan from Random RS, home of the random edit shows to come alive, to Random RS Network, a great place for live action and cartoons. However, that didn't work very well because because Random RS Network can't plagiarize off of Tajman Network because Tajman Network is the best place for live action and cartoons as well. So, so that would never do. But even though but even though Random RS Network is still there. It, they're still they're still programming many of their many of the programs from the 2017 era, but until then, and Tyler Media reprogrammed Random Artist Network to aim at a animation demographic, which that means that Random Artist Network is now a mature audience um, family channel. However. Random Mars Network is still is still gonna be as a family network still. But unfortunately, by this point, Tiger Media knew that the writing was on the wall for Random RS. And they and Tajman Media, according to them, they announced that they will be discontinuing the CW's Random Mars Network Saturday morning programming on the CW network and also they also discontinued daytime children's programming for the CW at the end of of April and at Mar and March 2021. Fulfilling the wishes of the CW affiliates and my network TV affiliates to give more time for their own shows. And also Ties for Network discontinued daytime baby show programming on their channel at the end of of March of 2021. We're moving Baby Shark from the Max's block on Taj Mirror Network. So that way some other shows like Naruto and One Piece can can go through to the block. So now Random Artist Network is one of the most known appealing stuff that embarrassed the heck out of Nickelodeon and Smart Study, who are both now still grud who still hold a grudge against Random Artist Network. But eventually but eventually They'll forget about what they about what Random Mars Network did. Uh, especially their own programming like 
like making like like airing DuckTales and Disney's Quack Pack. So random artists ever because they're gonna never hold for themselves again. So the reason why the cartoon veil on Random Arts Network failed is simply because it wasn't planned like it could have been because it just wasn't really successful from the get-go. Neither it or Random Arts Network itself never experienced high levels of viewership from their competition, including the Mouse 61, and it, and it launched before Random Arts Network in 1999, and it's directly competing with other networks for the rest of its run. So, I don't understand. Random Artist Network is really successful in the 2000s. So, this kind of success would have trickled down in their, in their preschool block, but it never did. And Random Artist Network had to, had to turn their own channel into a new mature audience since they're airing rated TV MA content and TV PG content as well. Sadly enough, the Go Animate House, a major mascot for Random Artist Network, ended production and would no longer be coming back ever again. Random Artist will never again venture into the realm of preschool TV. How it still on Tizer Jr. Tizer Jr. continued to run the the Cartoonville era until further notice when when Moosin Z returned once again and joined forces with Taj Mir Jr., the mascot for the Taj Mir Jr. block and channel. So, again, to reveal for why the cartoon veil on Random Arts Network failed, it's because it wasn't really good from the start. It was clear from the early 2020s onwards that Nickelodeon or Smart Study didn't like what the what the Random Arts Network channel was doing to their properties. And although it maintained good ratings for a good chunk of its run, but it was not in good ratings. It was in slumping ratings. It wouldn't keep those slumping ratings. Combine that with the ever risky independent of in trouble with the new president of Taj Media, and it was inevitable that Random Arts Network would crumble in half. So now, I wouldn't be surprised if Random Arts Network would continue to air on mature audiences' shows not too long. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'm really sorry this. this I didn't have to make one history video in a while because, because again, because once again, I had to take a break from my main channel so that way I can improve, so that way I can improve. But ever since I did improve even more because, because I'm, I thought I was thinking about the next video I'm going to do. So this will take a while for me and ever since. I, I'm still, I'm still, ever since I'm not uploading videos, I, I, I'm surprised if my videos are going up, up, up. Now, thanks and goodbye. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What, what type of shows will Random Artist Network air? Oh, and please do not recommend me to put up BFDI because the last time Random Artist Network aired BFDI on their own fan made network, it was horrible. It was made in response for slumping ratings. It really did. It do not request to air object lockdown on Random Artist Network because that didn't go well either. Yeah, many of the BFDI shows that are BFDI related content did not go so well because, because none of them were successful. They failed. They didn't live that long. Thank you very much.